in version 8 of the One Identity Manager, we first time integrated a complete password management and password handling. This is the answer of all the questions to generate or handle passwords. Therefore, we integrated something that is called the password policy, where you can now define all the rules necessary to create passwords, like the complexity, etc. The system itself, it's shipped with a standard password policy, takes place if there is nothing other else defined. For all the people working with demo environments, it is as well necessary to ensure that all accounts and identities are just configured with a complex password, because if this did not happen, you will run into problems later on once the installation gets migrated. System users and other One Identity accounts without any passwords are now not possible anymore. If you need something like that for a specific scenario in a demo environment, for example, you have to change the password policies first. On the website, the feature is supported with a specific password reset web. We will show you that in some seconds. Additionally to that, Starling two-factor authentication is supported with this specific web. The system delivers passcodes for new hires and supports as well password expiration. As well, part of the installation is the Active Directory Password Capture Agent. Uh, it was shipped in the past as a 64-bit and a 32-bit version, and it was shipped uh, to be used with a REST or with a SOAP servers. New in version 8 is only available is the 64-bit version, and it is only available to be used with REST. The support for SOAP and the support for the 32-bit version, it's not on the DVD anymore. Some words about password policy. We will show you the password policy in seconds, just in a demo. With the help of that slide, we just like to introduce the password policy itself. As you can see on the left side, there are many properties to configure to get that password policy just fitted to your needs. Additionally to that, the password policy supports a password blacklist and a password history. Even random passwords are possible. And for people like to integrate an advanced password validation as it exists from some competitors, for example, the scripting interface allows to increase the feature functionality. Okay, let's show something about password policies. Password policies are shipped with the Identity Manager. There are standard policies as mentioned, and you might have the idea to change some of these configuration parameters of these password policies. I like to show you that I will reconfigure my demo environment in a way of that password cannot expire, especially because in a training environment, it is uh, really problematic if uh, you just provision a new version and then all passwords are expired because uh, you created the environment maybe uh, 10 months ago. So let's start with that. Uh, you start your designer. You can do that from Launchpad by just clicking here, for example, on change system settings, and then designer comes up. I've already started the designer so that we can directly start with. If I want to change password policies, I have to go to the base data section. But before I do that, I like to talk about permissions and system users. As you know, we have for our developers, in our identity management world, some system users in our training environment. This is the training user, for example, or the all, uh, all the known user Herbic. And what I can do here, I can flag these users in a way of that passwords never expires. To do so, I just click on Herbic. And as you can see, easily there is password never expired. And by checking that, my first configuration is done. I do the same, by the way, for the training user. Here we are. And this is what I typically do for these system users. Yes, of course, in a productive environment, I will never do that. But in my demo environment, this is pretty good. Secondly, the password policies, as mentioned. Therefore, I step to the base data section. And there exists something that is called security settings. And in the security settings, you will find password policies. Yes, of course, you can find password policies, for example, as well in the manager. Yet now I'm in the manager, you can see that employees, there are passwords on person, central account, for example, central password, and you can find password policies here. But if you want to see all of them, then it's good to step into designer and in designer here in that section are all password policies defined for whatever else part of the identity manager. And now let's start with the settings. Therefore, I 
check my default password policy. This is the one. And I cannot change or reconfigure the, uh, the properties or the main properties of this password policy. But what I can do, I can just configure the policy itself. So what's to do? Min length, eight characters, that's okay. Max length, 16 characters, I can live with that. Um, maximum failed logins. This is something that could sometimes be pr problematic. So I just uh, level that down to zero, which means it is not configured. Valid password maximum in days as a valid password period in days. This should never happen. I don't want that my passwords automatically expire. Password history. I don't want that the system it's just uh, remembering passwords because again in a training environment I often want to set the same password or I want to reset a password. So that's it. Next step I can look into character classes as you can see minimum number of letters perfect one yeah, lowercase one number of uppercase characters digits that's all okay because my standard password in this environment will absolutely follow this and we try to have the same password for nearly every account but only in our demo environment so that's good i have no scripts here defined i can test that for example i can now enter my password this is my password. As you can see, it is valid. So it fits now to the complete configuration I was doing there. With that, I'm good. Next thing here is to look at the other password policies. And as you can see as well for the system, uh, I do have a password policy I can configure. This I will do as well uh, because uh, it is the same thing in the whole system. I want to ensure that my standard password uh, can be used everywhere. So I change these policies as well. So cloud passwords, we don't need them at present. Azure passwords, Active Directory policy should follow the same rules. Again, in a productive environment, that makes no sense. But here in the designer, this is really good. I commit my changes to the database so that they become true. And now I'm safe. What we have seen, we have seen how to configure password policies in the designer. We have seen on the system user how to enable the system user in a way that passwords can never expire. And we have as well seen that password policies could as well be uh, configured in the manager if I don't want to do that in the designer. But my suggestion is clear, take the designer.